gentlemen. I have been authorized to announce that the schooner Dolphin, owned by James Marsden of this port, has not been reported for three months and is hereby declared lost at sea. Hey, I understand there's a million dollars in gold aboard the Dolphin, Mr. Galbraith. Yes, that's right. Pretty tough. Have a tremendous storm like that come up and the ship is just four days out. Sure, but the Dolphin's weathered a lot worse storms. It's an odd coincidence that as soon as she gets a million dollars worth of gold bullion aboard her, she disappears. Now, wait a minute, Lawson. Don't start talking like that. You know as well as I do that Jim Marsden is as honest as daylight. Of course, he has his little financial difficulties, but every creditor of his will get every cent that's coming to them. Why, he still has his other ship, the Wahari. Perhaps not for long. Vorys holds some of Marsden's overdue notes, and he likes to be paid on the line. Yeah, I know all about Vorys. He'd sooner see a man bankrupt than to see him get a chance to make good. Well, here's Captain Morrison now. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Well, thanks. I'm a little busy right now. Tommy here does all my drinking. Fine. What do you have, Tommy? Mr. Galbraith? How are you? I'm fine, Jim. Fine. Hiya, Lawson. Hi. I'm awfully sorry, old man. Anything I can do? Well, I'm taking the Wahari out again with the next tide. I'd like to put a few stores aboard if it can be arranged. Why, anything you want, Jim, at your own terms. You better see Voyage before you sail, Captain Marsden. About your notes. Well, I'm a little pressed for time. Well, you're his agent. You can tell him you'll get every cent I owe him as soon as I make a few more trading runs. Nothing doing. You tell him yourself. Mr. Down over here, I'll give you a list of my supplies. He's resident. Hello. Yes, this is Voris. Lawson. Marsden's in port and means to sail again with the next tide. He won't sail. I saw the Wahari when she dropped anchor. And I've had the port officers attach her for the money Mars knows me. Got plenty of seal cloth? Yes, Chuck. I think that'll just about take care of everything. Oh, uh, Jim. Oh, by the way, Jim, I was thinking, it's going to take you a long time to recoup your losses with just one ship. I have a proposition. Why don't you get someone to sail your schooner and you take over the management of my trading post down at Pulamati Island? Pulamati, Pulamati. Well, that's where the strange stories about Haunted Harbor come from, isn't it? About demons, deep sea monsters, and lost men. There's something strange going on down there, Jim. Why, the natives are scared crazy. Why, they won't even work the copra. Well, there must be something strange behind it. Yes, but we can't find what it is. I can't even keep a manager. Now, that's where you would come in. You could go down there, buckle into that situation, where you could ferret out the mystery and get things going again. Thanks, John. I might take a crack at it later, but right now I'd like to make a couple more runs and square my debts. Well, if that's the way you want it, Jim. But remember, that job is yours whenever you want it. I won't forget. Thanks. And get this stuff came out. Good. Come on, Tommy. We've got a lot of work to do. Huh. I told you you better settle with Voorhees. What are you driving at? Hey, Jim! Oh, Skipper! Boy, he's just had the ship attached. Put the whole crew ashore. I should have expected that from him. You can't blame him for thinking it's all pretty fishy. What do you mean? It looks pretty convenient for a dead broke Skipper to have his ship disappear with the consignment of gold bullion aboard. Lawson, you and I are not going to get along. I don't like you either. <laughs> No! 
First-class job of overhauling, Chief. Come on, Jim, let's see about getting the ship released. Boyd's is the only man that can do anything about that. And I'm going to see that he does. Our operations at Haunted Harbor seem to be going quite well, Mr. Carter. Forget Mr. Carter. The name is Kane. I'd like that understood. I understand perfectly. Mr. Carter's record wouldn't stand too close an investigation. Never mind my record. Just sign this receipt for the return of your money. With interest. Oh, no. That won't do. I've decided to take a 50-50 share in your project. You're crazy. You can't gouge me like you do these fool sailors. The whole scheme was mine. All you did was put up the money at 10%. And all I have to do now is have you arrested. I don't need you to run things. And I don't need you any longer. said I'd find you here, Captain Marsden. Lawson? Yes, I got here just a minute ago. You made good use of that minute. Mr. Voorhees is quite dead. Now, wait a minute. I didn't kill him. I found him lying here when I came in. He was trying to tell me something when he died. You're under arrest for murder, Captain. I'd advise you to save your story for your trial. Marsden to hang today. Captain James Marsden, well known to the gallows at high noon for the murder of Frederick Boris. The colonial governor has refused Marsden's plea for a stay of execution to permit further search for Carter, the mysterious man who Marsden claims is the real killer. Well, they're hanging an innocent man. There won't be any hanging if you'll help us free Jim. How can I? You knew I'd do anything in the world to save Jim Marsden's life. But it wouldn't help him to have myself thrown into jail. Listen, Tommy can handle the jailbreak, all right. But we want a ship for the getaway. Yeah, I have a schooner out there in the bay. Nobody aboard her. But listen. I'm a law-abiding man. I'll have nothing to do with jailbreaks. But if somebody was to steal my boat, I wouldn't help it. You're a prince, Mr. Galbraith. And if that boat sails to Poolamatty, that manager's job at my trading post is still open. Good enough. I'll tell Tommy to get to work.
Say, do you know anything about these contraptions? Not much. Perhaps the carburetor. Sorry, I had to do it. It's no use, Marsden. I mean to live as long as I can. All right. We'll have to come and get you. Give me a hand. Treaty port and they can't extradite me. I'd like to see Lawson's face when he hears you got away. So would I. I believe you're guilty of compounding a felony. You helped Marsden escape from jail and gave him your ship to get away in. It's not my fault my schooner was stolen. The harbor should have been better policed. Storm warning. A hurricane is coming in from the southwest. No ship is to leave this port. All wireless equipped vessels have been warned to seek shelter. Only three men to man that schooner in a hurricane. Well, that'll save the state a hanging job. <laughs>
at the base of the cliff. There's someone aboard her. We gotta save him. We can't get a boat over in this sea. And we'll drop anchor and bring a breeches boy. I'll take him alive. You're crazy. We might as well have left you to hang.